Let's talk to uh, Niamane Mama Bolo. He's a South African uh, High Commissioner to the United uh, Kingdom. Jeremiah Niamane Mama Bolo, thank you so much for joining us uh, this evening, Commissioner High Commissioner. Um, what is your reaction to what the ICJ has said? Well, first, thank you very much, and uh, good evening to your listeners. Good evening. I think uh, this is victory to uh, the people of Palestine. It is a victory to the human rights loving people the world over. Uh, I think the, the the judgment is very clear. What they are saying is it's a work in progress. They, are, they still have, I think they made it very clear, the judge made it clear. We still have to determine whether Israel has committed a genocide. And it's a ruling that we believe they will get to at a certain stage when they reach there, because all indications, and from what the judge has said to herself, they are all indications that there is a prima facie case. Uh, we are moving in that direction, and we, are, we, we have no doubt that indeed the ultimate conclusion of the court would be that there is genocide that has been committed. Look, you can't say otherwise. You have a situation where the Israeli, it has been proven that they are denying deliberately water, the food, they are massacring people. There is actually no safe place in the whole of Gaza. But High Commissioner, uh, if, if the court, yes. High Commissioner, if, uh, so apologies for interrupting, but if uh, High Commissioner, if the if court was so convinced that the genocide were taking place, surely they would have been more willing to order a ceasefire immediately, which they have not done. No, no, no. As the judge was saying, it's a, it's, a, it's a matter. They haven't reached that and they have not pronounced themselves on that. So they still have to sit and discuss those issues and weigh all the facts. But what is a victory to all the human rights loving people is that you do have a case. Uh, remember, the Israeli wanted the case thrown out immediately. And the court says, no, we can't do that. There is a prima facie case. And therefore, we are going to be taking these interim measures which they took, if they didn't think there is something uh, <clears throat> to be looked into, they wouldn't have even gone into that uh, direction. They would have immediately dismissed The, the U US State Department has said that the ICJ's provisional rulings are in line with their own view that, quotes, Israel has the right to take action to ensure the terrorist attacks of October the 7th cannot be repeated in accordance with international law. I mean, I'm assuming that you would agree that Israel must and indeed should do something to ensure that its borders and that its citizens are not threatened again? Well, South Africa's position has always been clear that, look, as far as we are concerned, we have never said kidnapping of people, whether they're Israeli or Palestinians, it, it can be a justifiable way of, uh, of, of waging a struggle. And so we have never said we are against Israel or we, we're fighting the measures they are taking. What we are fighting, whether it is committed by the Israel or any other person, is the deliberate acts of what we believe is genocide. In fact, we, be, we, we, we have a strong case to believe that this is an attempt to actually wipe out ethnic cleansing, if you like, of the Palestinians. Uh, and, and the statements of the Israeli leaders uh, amounts to that. You have the Minister of Defense who says, oh, we're dealing with animals. Uh, or somebody says Gaza is going to be a place that is not habitable for anybody, and 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 then and that the whole nation of Palestine is uh, accountable and responsible. So they are actually fighting the entire nation. High Commissioner, what do you say to the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who says that South Africa, your country, has received a body blow today because the court did not order a ceasefire and did not rule that genocide had taken place? He's suggesting that your country has failed in its mission. What do you say to that? Well, I think he lives in another world. Obviously, the, 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 the judge has made it clear that the case is still going on and they're deliberating on that case. But <clears throat> there's so been so much in favour of South Africa already. The fact that as far as the judge is concerned, they are convinced that indeed uh, some of the case that South Africa is making is valid. Uh, you do have a case... Uh, and they mentioned, they quoted a number of killings that are taking place. They quoted a number of UN uh, experts, including the Secretary General, who testified to the fact that, look, as far as everybody is concerned, 
the situation is deteriorating daily. And this is the concern of the court. It is the concern of the international com community. As far as I'm concerned, the judge, the court, and we are grateful for the position that they are taking, they are moving in the right direction and they are restoring order and dignity to the respect of the law. High Commissioner, many people listening, I'm sure, would very much admire the position that the South African government has taken and indeed many support your efforts to try and uh, ensure that there is a ceasefire in Israel. But I am puzzled. You're clearly very passionate about human rights and ensuring that there isn't indiscriminate death among civilians, and rightly so. Why is it then that your government is less concerned about the appalling human rights violations which are going on in Ukraine? Our government has always been that we cannot support anything that violates human rights. Uh, the uh, position of South Africa has been to say we must intervene, that discussion, that, that situation must come to an end and there must be a negotiated session. Well, well High Commissioner, your and, country, and High, Commissioner, same... High Commissioner your, with respect, your country has abstained from votes condemning Russia at the United Nations. You've hosted war games uh, with the Russian Navy. You've invited your own president, uh, Cyril Ramaphosa, has attended a Russia-Africa summit in St. Petersburg what, last June, long after we all know about the appalling crimes that President Putin has committed, the acts of aggression which he's committed against the Ukrainian people. Why are you so comfortable with that by comparison to what is happening in Israel and Gaza? Well, South Africa and the African countries, as you know, have positioned themselves in a place where they are actually negotiating an end to that. And as you know, our president led a delegation that saw both Putin and the Ukrainians to uh, try and find a solution from the African point of view. Uh, look, we, 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 we have always made it clear that we respect the Charter of the United Nations, and the Charter of the United Nations talks to all this. You cannot uh, uh, support any violation of territorial integrity of any country, uh, and, and 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 that and that and many other uh, other issues related to that. So we we, we are very clear where we stand, uh, but we are doing our best to, as we are calling on the Israeli and the Palestinian to find the solutions. We had expected those who have influence on Israel and Palestine to do the same thing, to try and find a solution I mean, to the problem. Frankly, High Commissioner, is it not more of a case that there's something slightly more mercenary involved, which is your country has a lucrative relationship with the Russian state and you don't have a particularly lucrative relationship with the Israeli one? That's not to say that I think for a moment your motives are improper with Gaza, and I'm sure you care very much, but you can, no, I, understand, I think... you can understand the charge of hypocrisy from some. No, 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 you are wrong there. We do have a relation with the Ukrainians as well. I can tell you the government that is in power now or in South Africa is the government of the ANC that had people trained in the Ukrainian, in Ukraine as well. We have people who come from the military camps in Ukraine. The notion that we are supporting the Russians, what the Russian supporters was in the struggle is wrong. Both Ukraine and Russia supported us. Remember, this was the Soviet Union, and so we are friends. But, but you don't of... condemn. But you don't condemn Russia at the, in the United Nations. You don't vote against when it comes up. Your country doesn't vote against. You usually abstain. Why don't you? Why don't you vote in that way against Russia if you're so concerned about Ukraine? Look, the uh, <clears throat> the, the 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 issue is of course much bigger than that. Uh, the, 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 there are is other issues also to take into contention, uh, which needs both parties sitting down and finding a solution. The Russians have also put a case about their own security in their own negotiations with the with the West and so on. Look, we, we, where we condemn anything is any violation of uh, territorial integrity, but we are saying negotiations must be uh, the ultimate solution to resolving all the problems that are at stake. That's it. South uh, Com High Commissioner, thank you very much indeed. That's South Af African High Commissioner to the United Kingdom there, Jeremiah Niamane Mamabola.